Viper in that same way that we're used to seeing. So I do think there's a lot of pressure on Quid uh, to make things happen in this game. Yeah, I'm also not really a big fan of Armel picking uh, Viego over Wukong here. I think uh, Mayo already sees him there. Most of the baby chickens stolen away by Closer. Spectrum off from Armeo. Jungler's level five. Quid rotating over now, but Armeo wins this 1v1. The diving mid with Cyan ult. Yeah, Love there we go. Look. Revenge going in. Oh, he Quid just tries to go for the outplay here. The charm lands. Oh, Decimating smash on the two. It's first blood back over to JoJo. But there comes the shuffle. Quid buying a little bit more time. Someday goes all out. Revenge goes down. Armeo escapes the last turret shot. EG's got himself a two to one lead. Oh. Armeo's about to drop. Someday needs oh, one lived. more Q, but he ain't gonna find it just yet. A little bit of footwork might close the gap to give him the last in Tofo strike. He's still he going. Nice. Oh, oh, he's going oh. around, you know, dragon fights and whatnot. Right. So do you think that should raise the importance of trying to stack and have this objective where you can maybe pull them to you? Yeah, I think that definitely Ooh. does. Ooh. Armeo nicely done there, using the Heartbreaker to get back away. And now Quinn is under pressure. They need a little bit more damage to finish up, and Armeo's got it. Now he can reset, and Closer's going to die too. Over the wall goes Armeo, but Aelith's Ignite already has the kill. 2 nothing EG in the scrap. And I think 100 Thieves. To the side, 100 Thieves defined in the first 10 minutes of this game. And that first Drake is about all they got. Yeah, they get the dragon. You know, bot lane obviously has to really play more aggressive to make it happen, but he has those aggressive tendencies. They're going for these invades constantly and they're looking to dive. Oh, Closer yeah, just gets caught. You gotta know there. Hey, you've got to kind of flash over the skinnier parts of that triangle. Yeah. Jojo getting ulted back it's into Closer. Dead. 100 Thieves want to make the play, but EG's got more men there and they got him there sooner. Closer's the target oh, now no. as Jojo dashes back away. Armeo with a stab in the back takes Can't down Closer. One. This game is doomed. Man. 30 seconds left for those plates to stand. Well, Jojo's just going to race them to first turret here in the bottom side. He'll take that one down by himself. Solo gold. The majority of the players, uh, or at least they don't speak it very well. It's really hard to be on the same page and going to have a lot of issues, especially when you start losing games. It's... it's it's oh, they've already killed double. If they start the fight off, blowing up the enemy AD carry, they follow it up with the mid laner. Both. Yeah, Armeo and JoJo are having a hell of a game here. It has been all about me. I also was thinking about, like, from Revenge, Revenge's perspective, he's, like, been on Immortals his whole life, and now he finally gets to play Scion and get carried. You know? <laughs> <laughs> how nice, how nice must that be? Like, I have that, that feeling all the time. Upgrades. Oh, boy. Well, EG's going in again. And 100 Thieves are trying to get the hell out of town. Busio lips. Someday's trying to stand and fight. How long is he going to stay here? Goes all out. Brings revenge over the wall with him. Decimating Smash isn't going to find anything, but the rest of 100 Thieves now has to be careful. Armeo is godlike, and Double is dead again. EG pick up another one. They're forcing everybody else away. Unforgiven gets a second back on the quid over and over again. EG's not just finding the fights, they're finding the enemy carries. You like want to say, oh, they should do Baron, and then you realize it's 15 minutes in. They haven't even <laughs> killed the tier one. They're diving the tier two. It's like, what are you doing to them? The tier two, they're diving the base. Closer's <laughs> low, man. But you don't really want to play, so you just keep inting and keep dying <laughs> so the game can go as fast as possible. <laughs> this, is, this is what it feels like. He got the red. I mean, I assume that EG's is going to look to play mid bot side right now. Evil geniuses, they're going for the Baron. They already got it down below 5k. And as, just as you guys said, it's Ayla and JoJo on the flank, ready to go in. Ayla with a flash engage. Busio's the target. He's already down, and Armeo's legendary. Revenge leads the way towards the enemy carry. Goodbye, double if the heartbreaker, the playmaker. And JoJo's the one taking the kill. The Baron's already dead by the time you get there. It's like. Yeah, from this spot, every every decision looks every bad. Every decision is terrible. Yeah, yes. every decision looks terrible. Uh, and let's be honest, I mean, the game was really won through mid and jungle, and I think that is where you know, each... I've, you know it's really really hard for closer yeah. to play from that position. I, mean, I, I think it's like when you play, when you play from the Azir to the point where he's falling behind in health, he's losing the push, oh, he's losing in always. A huge Azir a, ultimate. A massive shuffle onto Scion. Hundred thieves are going in, but the problem is it's already on the tank, and now can they oh. find it? Nice shutdown back over onto Ayla. Maybe it's the fight after all. Armeo gets one back, possesses Quid, defensive hard back into the fight. Unforgiven joins up, but hundred thieves they engage on the enemy tank, and for the first time this game they come out on top. And yeah, he wasn't thinking about the Azir turret, and I, and I agree with you that the Azir turret was actually a big factor in that fight. Um, but mainly that's close game. Sometimes if you wait too long and you're too cautious, you give your opponents too many opportunities, exactly. right? To make plays and to find their own windows. Ooh, well, here we go. They don't want to give them no opportunities now. Jojo leads the engage and Quinn is already in the dirt. Devil might have Trinity and Shiv, but they'll bury him next to his mid laner. Double kill to Jojo. Quinn make it a triple. Armeo going legendary on that one as Evil Geniuses continues the charge. It's the blabber strategy. Just throw five dudes at him and send it down mid. Some days all out but Unforgiven puts 
knocks him down too. Closer's trying to deal with anything at all, maybe cut the wave, but instead it's Aelin Revenge ready to cut that health bar down to nothing. 100 Thieves are aced for free. It's EG in the base, 27 minutes in, 19 to three. They'll make sure Quid's introduction to LCS is not a pleasant one, and they'll find themselves their third win of summer 2023. Right when I was gonna end the call, they decide to pat their oh! ass instead, and Quid shuffles oh. four of them back <laughs> on the mountain. Now the game's done. <laughs>